Okay, hello Year 10, welcome to our third video and today we'll be looking at reviewing areas of compound shapes in rectangles. Our second objective will be looking at perimeters of compound um, rectangles and our third objective will be to problem solve, okay? So before we get started, I'd like you to have a go at these, at these questions please. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, well done if you've had a go at that. So your answers are here, okay? Now, please be aware that when you look at the um, this question here, given the information, find the area of this rectangle. Well, what I've recognized was that in a rectangle, opposite sides are going to be exactly the same. So therefore, this side is also going to be four centimeters okay so i need to find the length of this side and this side okay now to do that what i've done is i've added four and four together to make eight i've subtracted it from 28 because that's the perimeter so opposite sides now should add up to 20 okay so I halve 20 to get 10 so therefore this side is 10 and this side is 10 okay now if this side is 10 centimeters the area of this rectangle then is length multiplied by width which will give you 40 can't really see that which will give you 40 centimeters squared okay i've realized i didn't quite answer that okay so the area for this question is 40 centimeters squared okay right so let's go on to another question from the do now task which is this question here um now i have put this on another slide just to make it easier Okay, here it is. So if we separate it into two separate shapes, and remember we can separate it however much we want. From last lesson, we separated it down. So let's go diagonally because I know this is three and this is five. We'll call this shape A. We'll call this shape B, okay? Now, before we do anything, one thing I mentioned to you last lesson is to fill in your unknown side. So it gives you the choice of what you, of how you want to split it. So this side here will just be 10, take away 3, so that's 5 centimetres. And this side here will be 4, 5, sorry, take away 4, which is 1 centimetre, okay? So rectangle A will look like this. It will be 3 by 5. The area is length times width, which is 15. Add that to rectangle B. Now, with rectangle B, what you should see is the length is 5 and the width is 4. Okay? So, you have a 5 by 4 rectangle. The area of this rectangle is 20. So, when you add these two together you should get 35 centimetres squared, okay? Double underline that, as always. Okay, so let's go and look at today's lesson, please, okay? So pause the video. Can you copy down the date and title? And could you write down example number one, please? Thank you. Now, firstly, let's look at our definition of perimeter. OK, now the perimeter is the total distance around a 2D shape. All right. So some of you may have seen perimeter means add and area just normally means multiply. OK, but we're looking for the distance around the outside. All right. Now, the way we can do this is to highlight 
is by counting squares. So if you look at the way I'm doing this, so the perimeter of this shape would just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve centimeters. All right. So the perimeter is twelve centimeters. All right. Just be careful with your units because some people can lose marks by putting twelve centimeters squared. Okay. Um, one thing I would recommend is that you go back and double check because it's very easy to make a mistake here. Okay. Right. So can you pause the video, please, and find the perimeter of these shapes? OK, welcome back. So the perimeter of shape B is 14 centimeters and the perimeter of shape C is 16 centimeters. OK, well done if you've got that. OK, right. So let's go and try some examples. So can we copy down example two, please? OK, in this example, what you would actually recognize is that um, there are two lengths missing and it's important that we find those first before we find the perimeter okay so to calculate a we understand that this is the distance from corner to corner in a now if you look above okay the length from this corner to this corner is four centimeters and the length from this corner to this corner is two centimeters. OK, if I add them together, I'll get the length of A. So therefore, A is equal to four plus two, which is six centimeters. OK, right now to work out the length of B. When we look at that. OK, so the distance from from here to here is five centimeters and the distance from there to there is two centimeters. OK, but this time we need to subtract. We need to see how much we need to add to two to get to five. OK, so it's very important that B is five take away two. All right, it's very confusing sometimes, which is which one means add and which one means um, subtract okay so five take away two is three centimeters okay just be aware that this should be an equal sign okay so i'm just going to rub that off to make that clearer and i'm going to make that into a nice equal sign okay that should be two. okay brilliant so now that we got that to find the perimeter All you do is add the sides around the outside. So we know that A is 6 already. So we do 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus B, which is 3, uh, plus 4 plus 5. OK, right. So when we add these together, we know that two, there's two lots of two, so that's four. Plus another four is eight. Plus another three, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. And then you can add together another eleven. If you add six and five, that's eleven. So eleven plus eleven is twenty-two centimeters. Okay? And that's right. OK, brilliant. Now what I'd like to do, please, is pause the video and have a go at this question, please. Work out A, work out B and just be careful um, not to add where you need to subtract. And likewise, just be careful not to subtract where you need to add. OK, I'll give you about to so pause the video, have a go. OK, well done. So the value of A then is 10 centimetres because 4 plus 6 is 10. OK, so you add together the 4 
and the 6 together. Good. Length B, just remember the distance from here to here is 8. And the distance from there to there is 2. So I need to see what I need to add to 2 to get to 8. So therefore, I'm doing 8 take away 2, which will give me... Four, uh, six centimeters. Okay, I'm just gonna. There we go. That's six centimeters. Okay, and when you add the sides round, you should get thirty-six centimeters. Okay, apologies for the failures in technology there. Okay, right. So let's look at example three. Can we pause the video, please, and copy this down? OK, now what you would recognize is that we before we can calculate anything, OK, there's a little problem, OK, because this length here is in millimeters and everything else seems to be in centimeters. OK, so we need a little bit of extra knowledge here. OK, so you might have been taught this. So if you look at yourself, if you look at a ruler, one centimeters is the same as 10 millimeters. Okay. I'll just write that so it's clearer. So that is going to be ten. Yes. Oops. It's got, okay. One centimeter equals ten millimeters. OK, now, if that's the case, then two centimeters is equal to 20 millimeters. OK, you can just about see the two M's this time. So what I can do is I'm going to call this two centimeters instead. OK, everything is in centimeters now, so it should be all good. All right. So to work out what um, the value of A is, all right, it's not clearly labeled, so let's call the blue line A. Let's call the red line B. So to find out what A is, you simply look at this. Now, to go from here to here, going horizontally, it's one centimeter. To go from there to there, it's four centimeters. So the value of A will just be four plus one which is five centimeters, okay? Similarly, if you look at B, the distance from this corner to this corner is six centimeters. Now, the distance from this corner to this corner in centimeters is two centimeters, okay? So if I were to do two plus this value be here, I would get six. OK, so you've got to do six take away two this time. OK, so the value of B is six minus two. Which is going to give us four centimeters. OK. Right, so to find the perimeter, I'm going to do it up here just so it makes it clearer. All right, so if I start with this side here, find the perimeter is just one plus the value of B is four plus another four plus your two centimeters. Be careful not to add 20 plus five, which is A and plus six. OK. Right, so now this should be fairly easy to add. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. So add the extra 1 would give us 22 centimetres. OK. OK, that's good. If we double underline that, that should be our final answer.
okay? Right, I would like you to have a go, please, at uh, this question, okay? Now, I will give you a clue. Think about this, okay? Think about what you need to do here, all right? And use the scale that I've given you on your previous page. All right, pause, pause the video, have a go. Okay, brilliant. So, to find the value of A, one thing you should recognize is that if one centimeter is 10 millimeters, then four centimeters would be 40 millimeters. Okay? So, therefore, I will replace this with four centimeters. All right? Now, calculating the value of A, well, if A is going downwards this time, so to calculate A, that's the total distance from there to there. Now, to go from here to here, we go downwards, that's 4. And to go from there to there, it's 6. Okay, so this would give us the value of A. All right, so we need to add. So A would be equal to 4 plus 6, which is 10 centimetres, okay? Right, if we look at B, the distance from this point here to this point here is 12 centimetres, and we know that the distance from there to there is 6 centimetres. So to get B, I need to see what I need to add to 6 to get 12. Okay, so therefore we're subtracting. So the value of B is 12 minus 6, which is 6 centimetres. Okay, right, to find the perimeter, hopefully I can add it on here. Should be able to. So that's just going to give us 6 plus 6. plus b, which would give you 6, uh, plus 4, plus 12, plus another, plus a, which is 10, okay? Right, so I know that three sixes are 18, so that's going to give us 18, plus 4, plus 12, plus 10, Okay, so if I add 18 and 12 together, that's going to give us 30. That's 4, by the way. So adding these together then would give us an answer of 44 centimeters okay right please copy down what you don't have okay so let's have a go at another well, i did have these anyway but it doesn't matter it's good that i've gone through this with you anyway all right so can we copy down this example please Right, so as you can see with this one, it's asking us to write down the values of Y and W, okay? So this means that not much needs to be to, um, done in terms of working out, okay? Now, in a rectangle, as we've done before, we should understand that opposite sides are equal, okay? So if that's the case, when we look at this rectangle here, this side is 50 centimeters, so therefore W will also be 50 centimeters, okay? Similarly, this side of the rectangle is five centimeters, 
So therefore, y would also be 5 centimetres. OK, so let's make that clear. W is equal to 50 centimetres. And y is equal to 5 centimetres. OK, now to calculate the value of x, we look horizontally. OK, now firstly, these two sides are going to be equal. We know that the, that the distance horizontally is 40 centimetres. And 10 lies in the middle of these two values of x. So something plus 10 plus the same number gives us 40. All right. Easiest way to do this is to take away 10 from 40. Which is 30. So x will just be 30 divided by 2. And that's going to give us 15 centimetres. OK. Now, to find the perimeter, I'm just going to get rid of this rectangle here so I have a bit of space. To find this, the perimeter is, I'm going to start with that bottom 40 here. Let's get rid of that. That's a bit annoying. OK, so I'm going to start with that 40 right at the bottom here. So it's just going to be 40 plus 5 plus 15 plus 50 plus another 10 plus another 50 plus um, another 15 and then plus 5, OK? Quite a lot of numbers to add up, so let's see if we can pair any off. We know that 50 plus 50 is 100. Uh, we know that 15 plus 15 is 30. We know that also 5 plus 5 is 10. And we may as well add the 40 and the 10 together to give us 50. All right. This should be quite all right now to add up 50. So if we add 50 to 30, we get 80. Plus that, it will give you 90. So that should give us 190 centimetres. OK. Right. So what I'd like to do, please, is this, OK? Can we pause the video and have a go at this question, OK? And I will walk you through it. It's the same sort of thing, just with different numbers. So give it a go. OK, thank you very much for that. Right. So W and X, OK, so W and Y, sorry. So the value of W would simply be 30 centimetres. And the value of um, Y would be equal to 8 centimetres. OK, now to find the value of X, OK, now we remember... We need to do subtract 20 from 80 first. OK, so 80 take away 20 is 60. And then we need to half 60. X equals 60 divided by 2. So therefore, X is 30 okay, centimetres. OK, right. So now to find the perimeter, all we've got to do is add the sides around all on the outside. Right, which means pairing things together. So the perimeter is I'm going to start with 80. So 80 plus 8 plus X, which is 30. 
plus 30 plus 20 plus another 30 plus x, which is 30, plus that value y, which is 8. Okay? Now, adding this up could be quite simple. So I have four lots of 30, which is 120. Okay? And what you also recognize is 80 plus 20 is 100. Okay? 8 plus 8 would give us 16. So when we add these together, the perimeter is, if I add on 16 to 120 first, that would give us 136 plus 100. So therefore, the perimeter is 236 centimetres. Okay? And this is something you can always check with the calculator if you're in any doubt. Okay? Right. So let's have a go. Let's have a go at some worded questions. Okay, please copy this down. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. Now, before we do anything, remember, we need to read the question carefully first, okay? So, Mr. Jones is a sheep herder. He wants to build a, f a new fence around his sheep enclosure, okay? So, what he wants to do is this, okay? Put it in real life. He's a farmer. That's this bit here is where his sheep is. His sheep is all on the inside, and he's going to build a fence round the outside of it, okay? Now, if that's the case, all right, then we are talking about perimeter, all right? So that's the first word that comes to my mind, all right? So then we know that each meter of fencing, I just, that, each meter of fencing will cost six pounds 99 okay work out the cost of a new fence okay now the good news is we can do this one with a calculator all right we have to start with finding the perimeter all right so firstly i need to know my missing sides which i can just put in the diagram so if the distance from there to there is 12 meters and the distance from there to there is eight meters okay then 12 take away 8 is going to give us 4 meters and to get the vertical length 5 plus 6 will give us 11 meters okay Okay, that's going to give us 11 meters. Okay, so your total perimeter will be 11 plus 12 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. Okay, now I'm just going to add these up with a calculator. So that's going to give us 11 plus 12 plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4. And that should give us 46 meters. So the cost is just going to be 46 times 6 pounds 99. And your answer is three hundred and twenty one pounds and fifty four pence. OK. And just remember, it is in pounds and pence. So it's important that we have this to two decimal places. OK. Right. 
I would now like you to have a go at this question, please. Pause the video, have a go. Okay. Thank you very much. So what you should have is this, okay? We need to know the unknown sections for us. The same thing as the other side. This time he wants to build a fence around his cow enclosure. So this time, okay, here's my fence. It's going to go right the way around here. So what I want is to get the missing sides first. Okay, so to get this side, I need to do 14, take away 10, which is 4 meters. Okay, and I want to do to get this side, okay, which is going to be 7 plus 8, which is going to be 15 meters. So to find my perimeter, I just do 14 plus 15 plus 4 plus 8 plus 10 plus 7. So your total perimeter is going to be fifty-eight meters. Okay. Now your total cost if it's eight pounds ninety-nine per fencing, you just do fifty-eight times eight pounds ninety-nine. And your answer is £521.42. Okay, make sure we double underline our answer. Okay. Right, now what I'm going to do is give you some worksheet questions. So... Please have a go at these questions here. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, welcome back. I'd also like you to have a go at these questions now. Um, I will give you a slight clue, all right? So just remember, one centimetre is 10 millimetres. Okay, you will need that for this question here. Okay, so just make sure that, that is in centimetres. Uh, where else? Make sure that that is in millimetres. Okay, and for this one, another thing that you'll need is this. One metre is a hundred centimetres. Okay, so therefore 0 0.3. So if you do... 0 0.35 times 100, that's going to give you 35 metres, okay? All right, so I think you should be good for the rest. Okay, thank you, well done. Right, guys, so your answers will be here. Please mark what you've got. Okay, so this concludes our lesson. Um, just remember, guys, that we should go on to frog and make sure we're doing all the questions on that, okay? Now, I know when you go on to frog, I can see that the link is not easy to see. So to get the links to the video, make sure that you read the small print on top. There is a link there, just copy and paste it into YouTube and you should be able to find the video to all these lessons if you've not accessed